Um, I'm an atheist, but uh, if no, I, you're not. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, if I were to be uh, uh, convinced of the idea of a deity, um, just given the vast um, spectrum of human culture, both now and through the ages, how could it, how how could I come to be convinced specifically of the Christian God, given all the other conceptions and imaginations of deity and the supernatural? And if I could be convinced of the Christian God, uh, why should I choose to worship a God who, given the precedent of Job, at least some of the time, uh, allows immense suffering purely to uh, prove a point to Satan? I think you misunderstand my position. You can't be convinced of God. The Bible says you already know him. People, when they go to other gods, they're not looking for truth. They're running away from truth. And I'm saying that your very question presupposes the God that you say you don't believe in. Well, if, if I could rephrase then, I guess, Certainly. And, and, and just simplify. Um, again, just given mm -hmm. the, the vast amount of, of ways that people have chosen to uh, define how they, how they view deity, uh, Christianity, Islam, Judaism, Eastern religions, tribal religions, everything, how can you be sure that the Christian God is the one, given the, the vast scope of possibilities of deity? That's a great question. Do you know how I'm so sure it's the God of Christianity? How? Oh. The same way you are. How's that? The same way you are, by his revelation. Oh, it's not really That's an how I'm so sure, the same way you are. And that's the God that you will stand before if you die tonight. And you know it. Nobody becomes a Christian and says, well, what do you know there is a God? What do you know it is the God of Christian? Nobody does that. It's not going from unbelief to belief. It's going from suppressing the truth to professing it. And that's what I hope and pray that you do. And I urge the Christians here to pray for the professed atheists that have come this evening. A member of any religion could say the same thing. Pardon me? A member of any religion could say the same thing. They were born into a certain culture with a certain religion. They know that this is the one. If you were born in the Middle East, you'd be a Muslim. Well, actually, that's the genetic fallacy. You know, that's just like saying if you found out that your algebra teacher was a child molester, it would make algebra wrong. No, just because people make other claims, it has nothing to do with the true claim.